Hi, you're live with Virus at Chalik Tower, West London. On a Parker absolutely ream Saturday lunchtime, and today's episode is called Freedom. Uh, with a nod to the removal of the social distancing restrictions, that's going to happen on Monday, the 19th of July. Yeah. So, today's format is a classic format, but with a twist. Not only will you get three poems, just to lift you as a gift to you, you're also going to get three, three local histories as well. Whoa. So, after that, it's going to be the ever popular walkabout. Before I begin, I just want to say a big tick thank you for all who actually need to take part in that uh, questionnaire. You gave five minutes of your life for that mental health questionnaire. Big yourselves up for a really important reason. The people behind it, my people at Goldsmiths College, London University, were very grateful. But guess what? Guess what? I've got to bug you about it again next week. I'm going to send out something. If you can look at it again, if you missed it last time, well then, it's for mental health. I'll say no more. So, I can't believe it like that. So now, Look at that Trellick Tower. It's a grade two mystic building on the Cheltenham Estate in Kensal Green. It opened in 1972, was commissioned by the Greater London Council, the GLC. Take a look on left, take a look on right, take a left again, and this Brea Drive Park. Yeah, by the GLC, Great London Council. It was designed in what's called the Brutalist style, which is where the minimum uh, in this structure is used and where the brickwork and steel is exposed by an architect named Goldfinger, uh, no, Goldfinger. And it was basically to replace out of date social housing. But guess what? Guess what? happened was that by the time this place was finished, high-rise blocks had become out of out of uh, fashion and you know, it kind of got into dis disrepair and you know it started attracting a lot of you know prostitution and drugs and crime so in the end like it kind of bounced back in the 80s security yeah so they had a concierge and they had like a resident association that helped reduce the crime the fortunes gradually started to improve on the Chalik Tower. What a different tower, yeah? Um, in the 90s, yeah? And, and, and it became a kind of desirable place to live, really. It just meant that as a result, um, you know, it was still mainly social housing, still is, but there's still a high demand for private housing. Remember, it's London still. All oh, right. Let me tell you now that the fire that broke out in 2017 yeah was um a bad fire but it didn't cause that much damage because look at the concrete look how it built old school papa bill now if you think about it now grenfell's only up the road from here god bless them and their fire broke out and god look what happened god bless their souls Oh, right. oh, by the way, they, 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 Denzel Washington was in a film called For Queen and Country, big off movie, 1988. And that was filmed here, as was an episode of The Professionals. And that was in the 80s as well, big it up. Now, the band Blur, they uh, made their um, uh, a music video, Happy Days Here, as well as well. So it's a proper little place. Now, let me tell you, as we go through on our journey, go through. Uh, 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 this Cheltenham estate and this prize, the, 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 the actual Trellick Towers, it actually leads on to Goulburn Road. Now, with Goulburn Road is where I go. Good life, uh, look at life behind the Trellick Tower. Yeah, it's, it's where I go, my route, over Hapenny Steps, round back and off Goulburn Road to rap attack and on front line, it's not an old carnival. I want to ask you a question. 
if on Monday everything's going to be open and no restrictions, why is Carnival cancelled? Huh? Why? There's a street over here I want to show you, it's going to come up later. Look at left, look at right, look at left. Oh man, where did we come from? Sorry brother, I'm filming the glass. So anyway, as I said, look at this name of this street. Okay. South Street. Okay. So yeah, why is Carnival cancelled? Why? When it's all outdoors anyway. We know why. Uh, okay, so the famous Goulburn Road. It's a street in Royal. Is that in again? Coming back. Okay. It's a street in uh, Royal Borough of Kensington, Chelsea. It's in London. Now, Kensington Green, it runs basically from Portobello Road right through to uh, uh, Kensington Road. Um, and it's a road that had a lot of changes. This lovely Golden Road and the route to Carnival. Non existent, set two years ban Carnival. Okay. It's changed dramatically over its history. I tell you, it was once pure forest. It was part of the Great Forest of, uh, of Middlesex. And in 1543, um, Henry VIII he just seized the land. Well, that's how kings used to flex. I know. Mean, and um, what he did was that he turned into farmland. By the 18th century, okay, what you found was that. It was just mainly farmland up there. And the road itself, Goldball Road, was named after uh, Dean Goldball, who was um, a one-time vicar at St. John's Parish Church in the paddock. There you go, so we're coming to the main Goldball Road now. Okay. It's got a nickname as well, and you can soon see it. It's called Little Morocco. And that's because of the number of shops that you can see now that have got, that sell Maghrebian, which is North West Africa. Um, produce and goods, yeah. So you can see them all there, the caps there right? and you know, they kept the area going, kind of changed since I was young, but I like still okay. And also, it's a market every day of the week, it's a market except for Sundays. So it just means that as a result, on the junction of Goldburn Road and that street I did show up there, South Fulham Street. There was a murder, uh, uh, ant uh, antique an immigrant, uh, Kelso Cochrane. He was killed in 1959, a suspected racial attack. No one was ever caught. 2009, there was a blue pack put up for him. All right, so here we are on our little journey. As you come down now, as you can see, it's a lovely Westport. Uh, we're, Westport here in Kinsel. We're going on to. Acklem Village. Now this is the third history. Uh, Acklem Village is a hidden gem. We're going to see it soon. It's tucked up, right? It's within not on those um, kind of famous off Port Bella Road. Ladies. And also it's um, under the Westway flyover that you will jibe over. Right? And uh, let me tell you something. It's a semi-open venue. It's got in the winter, heated, bar, heated bars, even though, you know, outside seating, all that's good. And also, <laughs> it's got street food from all around the world. All around the world. Yeah. Now, let me tell you something. It's got free, that's F R E free live music, as well as um, from folk and soulful acts. And they, 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 they promote up and coming artists on the circuit. And they're very proactive and help launches of products and businesses and exhibitions. They really support the community. It's become a nice little spot to go. It's free entry, and I'm taking you there now. So, this is a little bit of history with these big red markets on the Golden Road. So, as now I'm coming up to a top of Port Bella Road. This is my home manners. This is Manor Ball around the corner from there. All right. So, all you lot can see all the areas. You say, you're all right, YouTube and that. Okay, whoa. <laughs> Get lively now. So anyway, uh, on to today's first poem. Now, last video I was down by Wembley for those who Who would have thought 
that within a week later, it's a week later, you see the things that we've seen. Beautiful. So this one is called Wembley Free. Billy Holiday. Sang about strange fruits hanging from a southern tree. That's the image which comes to me. Human cargo. Offloaded at sea. Oh, sh in short, by Goyd's PLC. How does this fit into modern society? Betrayal. The all mark of slavery. All goes well. England won, matches one, then another, and then three. Raheem becomes Raza, and Boyako becomes our Saka. But wait. Something ain't right. Their faces did never shun bright. Maybe they see something out of our sight. Do they know when things go south? Those same admirers spew eight from that same mouth. That horrible feeling. And you don't belong. It's like a pain. It could be any time. <laughs> Garis. Hello there, Rich. How are you? Garis hey? is a the good Algarve. man. Yeah. <laughs> but his strategy went down the pan. The pressures at the top meant that he forgot the world that we live in. We're being black as a city. That couldn't have happened. The boys were white. You better get that right. Okay, let's jar it in, jar it in. I had help. I had help. I am in the shape. I was made to see. In glass. Still a part of me. Okay, thank you very much. On to today's second poem. Now, this one is a crazy ass poem, but you only have to allow me. Allow me. This one's called 19. Yes, bless. 19. On July 19th, England's got its Freedom Day. 
Apart from certain caveats, like masks on public transport, like the end of the day, despite the science, predicting a winter of discontent, it's a policy on which Yoris is hell bent. Let's consider another freedom day. On another 19th, June 19th, 1985, June 19th, I mean 1865, a national holiday in the USA. Is it known outside of America? No way! Bless you. Give thanks, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Give thanks. It's a celebration. Yeah, it's a game. It's a celebration of the emancipation of African American slaves. First honored in Galveston, Texas. Thinking of it hurts my soul and plexus. 19 again, what well, do you remember? Part oh, our castle, my friend. Do you remember? Yeah, the record called 90. It was number one in 1985 for a month and a week. And it didn't turn the other cheek. How many years did the Vietnam War last? 19. What was the average age of American soldiers? 19. Nah. All right, all right. Well, if Yaris feels say his scientist predictions is either. Oh yeah, I said, man, long time. Yeah. <laughs> it's either. Let's see how. 19 is decoded by the Bible. Powerful. It's due to combination of numbers 1 and 9. And feedback on that will blow your mind. One represents self, leadership, and personal initiative. Nine will tell something ending only to begin again. No, excuse me. Let's begin again. The end of a phase of your life. Familiar? Well, 19 meaning the new theology would be there. Beginning, closing, the season of time. Just like this poem, I read the end of its life. Who will get the message? When your leaders choose a date, it's not just dressage. Often, there's a deeper message. So, so get ready for freedom for a day. Go crazy! Light up the sea. Just remember, it's not the first time it happened. 
Day called 19. Okay, so what a long video. Just gonna finish off by going through the lovely Acklem Food Market and Outdoor Village. Yeah, so that's the routine, Chris. Okay, today third and final part. My friend again. Okay, everyone's around me now, like I'm a celeb. Final poem, last night by Gems are being This one got a second line for a very, very high end. For a very, very kind. You can almost smell it through the camera, right? Live stream. Okay, you know that, you know that, really. So, so. I can smell the food through the camera. You know what I'm saying, Bob? Okay. Last night I dreamt of it. This rattles through the kings. This dirt of majesty. This seat of our palace. This unappealing. No longer the city's paradise. Wembley Fortress, built by nature herself. Tickets only, is it? Pardon? Tickets only, is it, mate? The tickets only to get in there. No, well, no, you've just got to sign the form. I'll come back. I'll All see right. you in a minute. Have a nice one. Okay. Wow, this place is amazing. Alright. Wembley Fortress, built by nature herself, against Colvin and the hand of four. This yappy breed of men. This little mould, this precious stone, set to the silver sea, England is home to you and to me. Okay guys, thanks for listening today. Just take you some mates. Monday and as usual before we end the show it's well yeah boy time for a walk about me yes we used to come down there all the time Westwood used to play under there missing a little bustle rhymes and all them things there let me tell you something now it was kind of crazy excitement let me tell you something Westwood used to rack it off plus coming down there for the last 45 years that's right, 55 come to check the main man but I'll still do that today. So, yet again, another long show as we reach up to Labrick Grove, them areas we say goodbye to Atom Village. Hope you had a great show today. You know how it goes. Just want to say I love you lots. It goes over and out. Me, Wyros. You know. Yes. Yeah, baby. You know I love you. Bye, Russ. <laughs>